I can't even begin to tell you guys. For those that don't know, my top three favorite games of all time have always been in this particular order. It's Final Fantasy VII, the original game, right? Number two is Metal Gear Solid 3. It's an amazing game. It's my second favorite game of all time. Absolutely love it. And then number three, most favorite game of all time, Parasite Eve 1. That game is so good. It came out at a time, well, Parasite Eve 1 was a uh, byproduct of uh, Final Fantasy 7. Like they were creating Final Fantasy 7 and they decided to split up certain ideas, right? Some ideas from Xenogears went on and other ideas, uh, specifically like the New York base setting. And there's even like a chocobo on the museum in Parasite Eve 1. But Parasite Eve 1 uh, essentially became its own thing. Around, I want to say like 1998, 1997 or something, like a little bit after that. But man, that game was great. It was Square Enix's, or Square Soft's attempts at uh, capitalizing on the horror elements that uh, Resident Evil was killing it with at the time and putting an RPG spin on it. And Parasite Eve was phenomenal. Part one. I keep saying part one because part two, for whatever reason, they changed up the development team for part two. A lot of the people from part one's team did not work on part two. And they went a completely different direction by copying Resident Evil, which was silly because I think Parasite Eve 1 had a better element and a better gameplay situation for, but they decided to copy Resident Evil with the tank controls and the way that the, you had to pick up the gun to like aim it. And even the music, the music was significantly weaker in Parasite Eve 2 compared to Parasite Eve 1. Parasite Eve 1 had some amazing tracks, amazing bangers that were just, I loved it. And this isn't a leak, right? This is official, official news right here. Square Enix trademarked Symbiogenesis in Japan. Symbiogenesis, according to Wiktionary, is the merging of two separate organisms to form a single new organism. It is the basis for the story of Parasite Eve. Now, I don't know how much of a stretch that is, but Wario decided to add that element into it. Gematsu reported on it as well. This is absolutely cool. It would make sense because they know people liked Par I liked Parasite Eve 2, but I didn't like it as much as I, I liked part one. And in the third birthday, we really don't talk about that one. Like that game had its good elements for some people, but overall it kind of like for, for a lot of fans that undo the great, it undid the great things that part one and two implemented for the series. So hearing, reading this, it's kind of like the way it reads to me, right? The merging of two separate organisms to form a single new organism. So like, it kind of like has a play on the situation. They're taking the idea of Parasite Eve, right? And merging it into like a remake essentially to form a new type of uh, scenario for it. I would absolutely love that. Parasite Eve is a great game, man. It had a, it had a cool gameplay element. And as far as the combat goes, right? Let's see, look at this. On the bottom right, they have an ATB bar and you can move around freely on the screen. Boom, now you can attack. You can choose to shoot or you can choose to use magic. This would work so, so well, in my opinion, with Final Fantasy VII Remake's like system. And also, like, look at the horror elements, right? Look at this, look at this cutscene. This game has so many cutscenes and they did a, such a fantastic job with the horror elements they implemented into it. Gross. And also, I wasn't using the handgun like an idiot. I was running around with the rifle. The handgun is much better than the rifle. M much more DPS, much more, uh, damage overall and it's sick though like you see you see what i mean like look at the differences with like i mean the similarities between what they what they do with remake and what they can do with this game i don't want it to be like a third person over the shoulder shooter to where you just like aim and shoot and like i feel like that's a little bit boring and that takes away from what made parasite eve 1 so lovable still leave it with some rpg elements right maybe allow you to freely shoot and stuff like that but you still have to wait for like atb charges in order to do that or take away that element and just make it so that once ATB is up, then you can do an action. Just like what, kind of like what Final Fantasy VII Remake did in a way, because like you could free attack still, but then when the ATB bar charges up, you can use magic or abilities. I think that is an ideal way to go. And they're, they're right now, Remake, when it comes down to it, has the best combat system, in my opinion, that Square Enix has ever, ever created. I mean, Final Fantasy 16 isn't out yet, so we'll still have to wait and see on that. But Remake, as of right now, currently plays the most fun when it comes to a Square Enix like uh, action RPG combat element. And I think that uh, you can kind of like take the way that Barrett plays, right? <laughs> you say, say you take the way Barrett plays in Final Fantasy VII Remake and you kind of tweak that element to function or work for Ayabria 
Parasite Eve. I spent hours playing Final Fantasy VII Remake system and just figuring out the best ways to make uh, it OP. And we did it. And I think that uh, they should really expand on what they have working for them right there because I think Parasite Eve 1 would fit very well with whatever they, it is that they have planned with Parasite Eve if, if they actually uh, are going ahead with a remake for it, which I hope they are. I think it's a great element. And not that like, you know, Square and Capcom needs to compete for anything, but we do know that the, you know, with what Capcom is doing right now with Resident Evil is being well received all over fans from all the all the Resident Evil series is, are like, you know, absolutely ecstatic with like remake four, uh, not remake three, <laughs> but in general, horror genre fans are like eating very, very well. And I think an RPG horror coming back into the fold, one that was pretty popular, I would say, uh, in Parasite Eve would be a good thing, would be a great thing. If we're doing remakes, man, do remakes of the good games, the Parasite, you know, Parasite Eve one, and then don't do what you did with Parasite Eve 2 at all. Move away from that. Don't even think about going in that direction. Completely double down on whatever it was that, you know, the initial storyline was going to be for Parasite Eve 1. Don't do the desert setup. Don't remove all the characters like that we that we enjoyed. Like screw Kyle Madigan. Give me Maida and give me fucking Daniel back, please. Those characters made uh Parasite Eve have an identity like you know like it just it just felt like you, you characters you cared about in part two they got rid of that they referenced them and talked about them in the background but it was still like you know in the in the beginning portions of parasite eve 2 i enjoyed it i liked pierce i liked uh the la aspect of it but as soon as we go into the desert you just get this like lonely feeling which was a cool if they were aiming for that cool they did it they struck that uh nerve properly but no don't do that again with a remake part two, please. Like Parasite Eve 2 should be a completely different thing than what the original Parasite Eve 2 was and just continue with either the New York storyline with like Eve and shit like that, or just create a whole entire new thing. But remake PE1 uh, the exact same way and uh, you know, get Yoko to do the music again. Parasite Eve 1 is one of my favorite games of all time. I absolutely love that game. Uh, would love, love to see that game being remade around the same time that we're getting like you know a final fantasy 7 remake a final fantasy 9 remake and a metal gear solid remake apparently because we see konami is coming back in with like silent hills like silent hills 2 remake can kind of like point us in the right direction that maybe konami is remaking their old games as well and the whole entire industry is just bringing back the old school stuff but in a really positive spin and in a, in a good remake essentially right